Hi and welcome to an introduction video to A1 website search engine. With this tool you can build search engines for just about any website. Just like with the other A1 sibling products you will need to scan your website before you can build a search engine. Now just make sure before you scan that you have this option checked and that you have at least viewed um, how the program will weigh different page elements like titles, headers, normal text and also how much you want in your search index, you know, or how many you know, results per page and so forth. Generally speaking, the higher these numbers are, the bigger the search index, but also the quality increases likewise. Okay, so uh, in this case we have already scanned the website just like cooking shows, we have pre-scanned and we can head right into build the search engine. Here we have selected what the search page file name should be and we have also overridden the root domain address. Remember we have scanned a local host website so it's important that we can fix it later in the actual search engine. Okay, and general options, you can s select b among a few here. Um, JavaScript plus PHP is for larger websites and uh, basically um, it uses Ajax to um, communicate data back and forth. So uh, that's a good solution for larger websites, but in this case we'll just use deferred load pure JavaScript. So it will first load its JavaScript search index file when the user actually searches something. We want to show scores and description um, and we want to lock searches uh, in a way that uh, your server logs can, uh, can see what your users have searched for. Ok, so we'll just hit the build now button. And this will take just a few seconds because actually microsystools.com or our local host version of it is actually quite big and this is a debug build. Okay, so we see the results here. I'll just syntax highlight just for convenience. And it's important to note here that all you really have to, you can use the file as is, but you can also embed these styles, you know, CSS and this bit of HTML into your own search page and uh, through that um, have a search page in your own website layout, using your own website layout. So um, if, you're, if you're not happy with the look and feel, just insert this code into your own website and off you go. And you can see these are the files generated when we built the search engine and these are the files you will just, all you have to do is to upload them and it will work. A quick demonstration here, we switch to browser view and enter sitemap, hit search button and we see search results come up. Now, if you want to integrate search in all your pages in your website, you can do so. Just add this search box, you have a code visible just here in your pages and have it query the search page through get parameters. So it will a typical example would be something like this, search p, lee, and let's say website downloader. <coughs> this is actually all you have to do. So, um, and you can determine how you want the query parameters named just in case you have your own website use similar uh, get query parameters. You just, that's this option. You could name it, let's say my search and you will simply, and you will simply write this instead, my search. Okay, 
I think that demonstrates how to build a simple search engine. Um, it's worth noting that A1 website search engine is able to um, to understand, for instance, site map and site maps and site space map are all related words. Yeah, well, that's it. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.